What's up, guys? Viewer Flex Eye here. Uh, been a while since I posted a video. This here uh, is like is a one v. Uh, I titled the video "Versus 3.5" in the in the title. You'll see here why in a second because I survived for about the first like eight minutes, and then Apo's actually like rage quits while well, it's one on four. So then it becomes a one v three. He was just getting frustrated because I was just surviving and playing survival and running from them. Um, but this video will mainly be about uh, two things. One, people just being stupid about town and bitching about things that are part of the game. And the second thing will be about how bad aesthetics is. So uh, this is actually against him, who uh, he's just been starting shit with me lately. Like, I'll say nothing and he'll just, you know, his team will be getting like 4 0 swept in series. You know, 5 0, like, we'll be playing him in like best of sevens and nines on town. And, you know, like, it's not the series aren't even close, but, uh, you know, he'll still be shit talking, like, oh, I griefed you that one game, Reflex. You know, he's just bringing up shit, like, all we're saying, CG. So he's just, he's always just trying to start shit. So I think it's funny, like, when he has, you know, like, maybe like one one hundredth of the accolades I do. It's just, it's just funny to hear a guy, you know, it's maybe one one tournament in his time, you know, talk, trying to talk to me about how to play grief and this and that. But, anyways, this is the 1v4 from that game. It's against Apos, him, and a couple others. Again, I'll touch a little bit on. How, how I play 1v4 is how I think they should be played and why people really need to grow a sack and just stop bitching and learn how to play real town grief because town grief has its issues and I exploit them for what they are like playing survival because I have Galva Knuckles and uh, you know Jug it's just it really is a joke to me so if you want that to stop come play either no magic or go play a different game that's all I have to say about that but uh so yeah um in this video it's about 17, I think it's like a 14 minute 1v4. Um, I don't I don't think I get any grief really, uh, to be honest. I run from them, they all kind of self grief themselves, and uh, that's about it for the actual gameplay. But uh, one theme that I definitely want to talk on, like I talk about, like I mentioned before, was how like bitchy people are uh, nowadays on town, like complaining about spring and corner blocking and corner camping and pub blocking, like right here at this quicker vibe, people bitch about that. Like, uh, it's, it's just funny, like, how people will bitch about that kind of things, but that guy bitching about spraying with their MP5, which is a perfectly legal part of the game, it's part of grief, you gotta learn how to outsmart the guy spraying with an MP5, they'll be the first guys to go into that jug bookshelf glitch or that jug corner glitch when buying jugs, they don't want to die, so I, I, I couldn't be more hypocritical, you know, I'm doing something legal and a lot of players are learning how to play survival and actually play proper town better, I mean... Town, really, I don't care what way you want to look at it. You guys need to get it through your head. It's not that much skill. It's all in decision-making and teamwork. And, uh, I mean, that's why my play style has worked for as long as i played it. So, um, again, so people just expect kind of back on this 1v4 again. Like, it's also, I guess, sissy -ish. You'll see, well, you won't see because I don't uh, I didn't record the, uh, I didn't have my cap card when this happened. I'm back home from college right now for a month. But, uh, so I didn't get the game chat. But Aesthetics is just, you know, bitching about me running. It's just hilarious. Like, I, I, all, he kept dodging the question, and I posed the question to anybody watching. Seriously, when they have the mindset of why is this guy running, like, this guy's a little, oh, I guess I do prone block grief that kid. Like, I guess Aesthetics was bitching about that after the game. Like, apparently I shouldn't have blocked him there, right? It's a 1v4, I'm trying to win. I shouldn't have done that. That was a newbie move. But, uh, he, and people keep dodging the question. And, and when it's a 1v4 situation, I'm on a 3 bar. I'm, I'm certainly not host. It's an average 3 bar. It's not bad, not good. But, uh, he kept asking the question, I ask all of you, you know, if there's three guys shooting at me and in front of me, should I challenge them and pull out my knuckles and try and grief all three of them when they, they're they in position, the horde's behind me, I might already have taken a couple, one hit, maybe a lot of damage. The way people talk, aesthetics talks, all the kids who bitch about spraying and running, they say you should grief them on that three bar when you're going against the host and two others. They say that's that's the right play, that's what you should do. That's that. That's not what they say, but that that would have to be their answer, right? They say it's smarter to do that than to run strategically, try and outsmart, try and be unpredictable, get away from players. You'll see I kind of run random places. Just whenever somebody's near me, once you let them get control of you with Knuckles, especially the host, it can be game over. Certainly in a 1v1 grief, especially in 1v4 when he's got teammates to come back him up. So that thought is just like ridiculous in 1v4 is that you should really... I mean, there are players who can do it, I've, I've, and I've said countless of times, I'm not the best griefer ever play the game. Maybe Bane would go at it a different way. But again, I don't think it'd be as successful as this. I've done maybe like 10 1v4s and maybe like 30 tries, I'd say, just doing this. And I'd say one out of three for a 1v4 ratio is pretty good. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's just that's just how I've played. That's just what makes sense. 
Um, so I'll try and kind of get off the one before top and go again more general towards you know the MP5 spraying and uh, even YYing people are starting to complain about. Which the YY I can kind of understand. I'm com- I'm kind of uh, indifferent on the YY. I mean I I I think it's okay to have it. It's it can be a little abusive if the right guy you know host gets it like Derek or something. It can just be real overpowered. But it is a it is kind of a skill thing. It's it is a glitch quote unquote. You know it's an animation glitch, but it's still a skillful kind of griefing tool if you want to use it. And I think it's nice to uh, you know be able to knife zombies and build up points real quick with it. So I think that's fine being part of the game. But, uh, you know, people complain about, like I said, pub blocking. Just MP5 spraying in general is just, like, just some of the funniest shit I've heard. It's just, it it makes absolutely no sense. I'm not glitching, I'm not cheating the game in any way. And then kids find a way to bitch about it just because they don't know how to deal with it. Because they've been taught, and sorry for the people who have heard this already as I've been (laughs) explaining to buddies just in custom games and whatnot. But I, as a, as a, sort of metaphor for it i really believe like town players who were brought up like who began town started playing town were basically taught that two plus two equals three i thought they were taught like the basically the wrong equation i'll try i'll elaborate on that so it'll kind of make sense i thought they were taught the wrong way to play grief they just went about it they see these electrically you know blue knuckles and they just go crazy and think that's all that and uh never really got the survival instinct i thought they i thought People just started playing grief wrong. People put such a hefty emphasis on this griefing and, you know, not being a bitch and taking people on one on one. And I, that there's no, that's not the right way to do it. I mean, <laughs> there's, it's hard to argue with the way my team plays and how many turn you wounds we have. You can say it's bitchish, girly, whatever. Or you just run like, like little kids, and you know you don't fight me or gay and whatnot and this and that. You know all these words and shit. But, uh, I mean, that's that's what works. That's what's gotten us wins, and that's just what works better. Uh, I mean, and people who have started out farm have been taught that, we're, we're taught correctly, and I believe that 2 plus 2 equals 4. They were taught, farm, no magic, kind of taught you, like, survival first. It taught you to stay away from the zombies. It really is just common sense. It's part of grief. I mean, again, you can sit there and just want to punch everybody and grief everybody, but it's just, it's not real grief. You know, when you put two survival teams against each other in town, the games can be going 30, 40 minutes if they're good teams. And that's just how it is. Like, until people accept that and that, that that's a problem with town and that I'm, my team, myself, all the, all the real good town players who have been winning lately, who are survivalists, play the game that way until they accept that that's just what town is. You know, I really don't think they're going to be good. I really only think there's about six six or seven you know top town players and i really think all of them are top farm players as well i think almost come on and been good Derek is undoubtedly one of the best on town jeff's good even though flopper really doesn't play that much just because he's got great teamwork communication and uh just just can out strategize pretty much anybody so i mean again then you got these ps3 players coming in here like crayola and john tour and royal and obi and you know i don't think crayola is bad i don't think john tour is terrible i don't think either of them are su- exceptional i've had conversations with crayola you know and he still really can't get it through his head that you know all he has to say to me is i don't respect the way you play i don't really like how you play grief it's just girly and again it's just it's just really hard for people like him and people who played town a lot and played it I mean, I think PS3 is lower level, personally, who have played it where, you know, they've been playing with other people who just punch and grief and actually come at them and teams like that, and who don't, you know, actually have a brain inside their head. They're just so dumbed down by that that they turn into these idiots who think that griefing someone physically with their knuckles is everything. So uh, that's about that. I mean, I'll have more videos. One quick notice, I will be hosting a Farm No Magic tournament probably this weekend in three or four days on Saturday. If not, it'll be sometime during the week or next weekend for sure. I'll have hosted at least one by then. So uh, you guys can get your teams to me early any time. It'll be a farm around 15, no magic, the classic game type. But that's all I have to say for now. I know it's ranting that this video, and uh, you know it's a little off topic in places and whatnot. But I'll let music run it out from here. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be, definitely be making them for the next month quite a bit. And I might even take my cap card to college. So I might be making some there. So I'll see you guys soon. Let the music take it out. Later. So my champagne up in the club Night come up here and I looking for love I'ma leave all my problems out on the floor I'ma drink so much that I can't make it all So would you take me home?
Take me home. Take me home. 